starting along the inside. Next out to Elmo goes west, then Western Shooter and Armbro Wrangler with Kilowatt down the center. To the outside, Bucko rises. Future Treasure and Rounder. It's post time for Woodbine second. The second from Woodbine is the first elimination. 2001 Metro Stakes. Here they come. They are off and pacing. Western Shooter not fastest. That honor goes to Armbro Wrangler, who's jetting right on out of there. And no contest, Mindale drives right on through. Elmo goes west, is leaving. Farthest on the outside came Future Treasure to the flank of Elephants Can Fly. And there's Western Shooter being eased in from sixth into the first turn. Kilowatt plugs in fourth from last. Then it's life as a cabaret. Bucko rises and Rounder was trailing. Elmo goes west. And Mario by Arjan take over the lead. Sitting back second is Armbro Wrangler. No contest. Tessmendale is third. Elephants can fly set in from fourth. Then it's Future Treasure fifth. Western Shooter was sixth off a quarter of 26 and four. Elmo goes west, has him stacked up single file to the back stretch. Armbro Wrangler sitting in from second. No contest, Mendale. Remaining in from third, and there he goes, first out on the leaders. It's two more lengths to Elephants can fly sitting in from fourth. Future Treasure is fifth. A long way to come for Western Shooter from back there in sixth, but Campbell takes him to the outside. Then it's back to Kilowatt, fourth from last. Just ahead of Life is a Cabaret, Bucko rises and Rounder in 55 and 3. And the new leader taking over no contest. Mindale striding off by two on Elmo Goes West. On to the final turn, Armbro Wrangler is back in third. Elephants can fly, Dave Miller moving up uncovered on the outside from fourth. Western Shooter now has to pick up the pace from fifth. Backing away was Future Treasure six. Kilowatt winding up seventh on the outside. Well back in eighth and head stretch is Life is a Cabaret. Ahead of Bucko rises and Rounder. No no contest, Mindale, the head stretched leader. Elephants can fly. Western Shooter now kicking in the far outside. 124, three quarter time. Here comes Western Shooter and Campbell methodically measuring these. Western Shooter hits the front right at the tote board and calmly comes on pass to win the first. Metro stakes elimination. Elephants can fly. A long shot was second. No contest, Mindale was third. Western Shooter, 152 and one. There's the second race winner of the first Metro Pacing Stakes Elimination of 2001, Western Shooter. Western Hanover, two-year-old Bay Colt from Cathedra, owned by Bob McIntosh and CSX Stables and Michael Kohler. Bob does the training, John Kimball for the winning drive. Fifth win in seven starts this year. That's a life's mark of 152 and one already his fifth career victory. Western Shooter in the second. Making the winner circle presentation. Our special thanks to Lance Brown, the sports director of CFTO Channel 9 in Toronto. Thanks again to Lance Brown. Making the Metro Stakes elimination presentation to Western Shooter and Connections. Joined in the winner's circle with uh, trainer Bob McIntosh, who uh, gets the win in the first elimination for the Metro Pace with Western Shooter. And we were just talking a little bit off camera about this Colt. You say you're very high in the Colt, but he is a little green behind the gate. Yeah, he's got tons of ability. And um, last month or six weeks, he's really shaped up. He's still a green horse, though, and he's still learning. So, uh, you know, it's early in his career, but he's got uh, tons of ability. Got away uh, in seventh place, where, or sixth place, actually, off the gate. And uh, a long way to come coming down the stretch. We're going to get a look at the uh, stretch replay here. And uh, how did you feel as they uh, turned for home? Well, I know in the cold, I thought he'd have a pretty good stretch kick. But, uh, you know, you never know. You're in a horse race. But uh, he responded like I thought he would when he come for home. And we are getting a look at the uh, stretch drive there, out three wide. And you were pretty confident at this point as Campbell gets him to the front uh, with about a tote board length uh, to the wire. Yeah, John said he was looking around more than anything. Like he just wasn't paying attention. So. 
I'm sure next week they'll be going fast enough he'll be paying attention. <laughs> okay, and of course, a busy night for you. Uh, as mentioned, you have four uh, Colts in the eliminations tonight. Of course, All-American Ingot uh, coming up in the uh, fifth race tonight, the third elimination, and there was some uh, uh, concern at the end of the Wilson that he might not come here, and uh, he is here, and can you tell us a little bit about him before uh, the third elimination? Yeah, All-American Ingot raced a big trip in the Wilson, and uh, we wanted to take a little, see how he came out of the race and give him a week, but he had a, he's had a real good uh, three weeks since he raced, and he's Come out of the race in great shape, so uh, we decided to go with him here. He just seems to be—he seemed to thrive on it, and he seems real good. So that's Bob McIntosh, winning trainer with uh, Western Shooter, winner of the first elimination, 52 and one, the time of the mile. Let's go back inside to the studio to hear comments from Greg and Pete. <laughs> 